Well, this is Melissa. I was coming to you today to find out and see if the Ulta Adjustable Coverage Foundation might be a dupe for the Too Faced Born This Way uh, powder foundation. Because this is what I've been using, but this runs $37. The Ulta Adjustable Coverage Foundation runs $14 big difference right and of course all of us want to save some money we want to look beautiful but we want to save some money so anyhow this might be a dupe we'll find out and I'll let you watch as I put it on for the very first time and find out so if you like this video I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and drop this video a like and click the notification bell down there so if you want to see how this goes keep watching so I have my face prepped and ready to go and I'm using the Ulta Beauty adjustable coverage foundation and let's see this is the shade fair and it says that it's like a neutral it's a fair neutral, basically. It's not supposed to have any yellow uh, coloring to it. It's not supposed to have any pink coloring to it. it. Has a little plastic sheet here covering it. So it has a little mirror in there underneath. Okay. This is just a solid, plain sponge. There's no um, fleeced side on one side or spongy side on the other like the Too Faced has. Just a straight sponge. So I'm just going to be using my um, Luxie Round Tip Blender to put this on just exactly like I do with my Too Faced. So we'll see how this goes. Let's see how, and I'm going to be looking over here into my makeup mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see if this goes on. Oh my, I don't know about that. That is like sticking in the little tiny hairs on my face. Let's see. It's going on, actually, it's the immediate response here. It's going on more like a powder than a powder foundation. We'll just see. Let's like say I already have on. Uh, a little bit of concealer. We'll see here. I may wind up just needing to use this as a straight powder. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to try it just for the day. I'm just around the house today, so it's not going to really matter so much. I hate to say this, it's not going to matter so much today what I look like, okay? <laughs> but um, we'll see how this goes here. At least as far as I know, I'm just around the house. Well, actually, it's getting in my nose too. Except for right there in that one place where it looks like it's kind of stuck to everything. Just try to blend that out a little more. Actually, you know what? This isn't too bad. It's not too bad. All right. I don't know if you could see real well or not. This is what it's looking like on my face here. But, um,. Like right in here, it is covering the little lines and stuff on my face. It's not settling into anything here. It's looking pretty smooth. So, um, let's see if you can see better if I back up a little bit. But it's looking pretty smooth to me overall. The trick will be to see how well this lasts. I'll have to come back in and make a note and let you know how well this lasts. So... I'll go ahead and get the rest of my face on and be back in a minute to tell you a little bit more what I'm thinking. Okay, y'all. So this is the final look here. You see my face. This has got all the rest of my makeup on it. And um, I feel like the coverage actually is staying looking pretty good by the time I've gotten everything else on. 
um, as I look in the mirror, I start to see a few of these little lines starting to shine through again just a little bit, but I don't think it's any more than it usually does with the Too Faced. So it's kind of what I'm comparing here is the Too Faced versus this Ulta Beauty here to see if they're, this is really a dupe for this. Um, this goes on thicker than the Ulta Beauty one does. Uh, this is more powdery going on. It you, this this could definitely be used as a powder or a powder foundation, depending upon how thickly you put it on. This, if you have any little spare hairs on your face, it's going to cling to them, and you'll need to brush it out. You saw me brushing it out um, because I do have just a couple of little tiny peach fuzz hairs right there on my face. Uh, and as it's settling, as this is settling into my face, I also am wondering if I might not need to get out this little um, sponge that's in here and maybe touch up a little bit later in the day. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but you know what? This is running 30 seven dollars it's either 37 or 39 i think it's 37. this runs 14 and i used some of my ulta bucks and so i got it for let me see runs 14 take eight dollars off of that i'll let you do the math <laughs> sorry i have to think about it but yeah so i got a significant savings off of it or you can catch it on sale but even if you don't catch it on sale 14 dollars versus 37 that's a significant savings. You know what? So I may go to this. If this stays pretty reasonable, I may go to this Ulta uh, for a powder foundation. Uh, if it seems like it's going to be a reasonable dupe for it. Because uh, I do like the powder foundations. Uh, it's just it's just easier. It's just easier. It's quicker. You saw how quickly it went on. There was not a whole lot of blending and fuss and mess and having to do liquid foundation and then powder over that. And I just like simple. I just like quick and simple because I usually don't have a lot of time. Okay. Um, so I would say that this probably, as of right now for me, is a win. I would say to, if you, I'd say it's definitely at least worth your time to try it out. Uh, I mean, for $14, you don't have a whole lot to lose with that. Um, you, you, at a minimum, are going to have a decent powder. So, anyway, that's kind of my review of that. I think that this is a good product myself, and I think that I'm going to be able to use it as a powder foundation. I think for sure. I think it's quite reasonable. Um... So that's kind of my thoughts on the Ulta. I think it's, I think it was probably, I would say an 85 to 90 percent easily, if not more, dupe for the Too Faced Born This Way powder foundation. Um, so that's my thoughts and I'll see you in the next video.